What's up guys? In today's video, we will be discussing the very exciting event occurring with Singapore Airlines and Boeing. On the 26th to the 28th of March, the first ever 787-10 will be delivered to Singapore Airlines. The delivery flight will take off from Charleston, North Carolina and make its way to Singapore via Osaka, Japan, which will be its first regular commercial destination. The flight is due to land in Singapore on the 28th of March. The aircraft registration will be 9VSCA. It is scheduled in for a launch event at Changi International Airport when it arrives. Singapore Airlines will be taking delivery of eight aircraft this year. In fact, they will be taking delivery of the first seven 787-10s delivered worldwide. The delivery schedule is 9VSCA will be delivered in March 2018, which is the one being delivered today. 9V SCB will be delivered in April 2018, next month. 9V SCC, 9V SCD, and 9V SCE will be delivered in May. 9V SCF will be delivered in June. 9V SCG will be delivered in August. And 9V SCH will be delivered in October. After the initial eight planes, the next batch will be delivered in 2019. Also, it is important to note that the aircraft registered 9V SCG and 9V SCH are the Boeing test planes, which are now being refitted to meet Singapore Airlines' standards. The 787-10 will be fitted out in a two-class configuration with 36 business class seats and 301 economy seats. Once the 777-200 version 1 is retired, it will become the highest density regional aircraft for the airline. The seat itself will obviously be a vast improvement on its predecessor, but specifically, it provides a full flat bed, which has much improved privacy. The aircraft will be deployed on medium haul routes, and it is aimed to replace the A330 and 777-200-300 aircraft on flights up to 8 hours. Before the 787 commences regular Osaka flights, it will be performing flights to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and Bangkok, Thailand for crew training and familiarisation. The Osaka flights will commence on the 3rd of May 2018. Recently, Singapore Airlines announced that the second route that the 787 will fly on will be to Perth, Australia, from Singapore. These flights will commence on the 7th of May 2018. The temporary 787 flights to Kuala Lumpur will leave Singapore at 6.55pm on flight SQ. 118 and arrive into KL at 7:45 p.m. The return flight will be SQ119 and leave KL at 8:40 p.m., arriving into Singapore at 9:50 p.m. The flight is scheduled to run from the 3rd of April until the 31st of May 2018. The 787 will also run three flights to Bangkok. The first will leave Singapore at 7:10 a.m. on flight SQ970 and arrive into Bangkok at 8.35am. The return flight will be SQ973, which will depart Bangkok at 9.40am, with a 1.15pm arrival into Singapore. This route will commence on the 3rd of April 2018 and will run until the 2nd of May 2018. The second flight will depart Singapore at 9.35am, as Singapore Airlines Flight 972, and arrive into Bangkok at 11.05. The return flight SQ975, will depart Bangkok at 12.15pm and arrive into Singapore at 3.40pm. This service will run from the 10th of April 2018 until the 30th of June 2018. The final flight, SQ982, is to depart Singapore at 5.30pm and arrive into Bangkok at 7pm. The return flight, SQ983, will depart Bangkok at 8.05pm and arrive into Singapore at 11.30pm. This service will run from the 10th of April until the 6th of May 2018. The Osaka flights, which will be a permanent route for the 787 when it commences, will run on flight SQ618, which departs Singapore at 1.25am and arrives into Osaka at 9.05am. The return flight SQ619 will depart Osaka at 10.55am and arrive back into Singapore at 4.40pm. The second 787-10 permanent route will be to Perth, which other than the one arriving on the 7th of May will depart as flight SQ215, leaving Singapore at 6.45pm and arriving into Perth at 11.55pm. The return flight SQ216 
will depart Perth at 1.10am and arrive into Singapore at 6.25am. The delivery to Singapore Airlines comes nearly a year after the first flight of the 787-10, which occurred on the 31st of March 2017. The 787 is the first of the family to be entirely assembled in North Charleston. The airline has firm orders for 48 more 787-10s following the first delivery. Its low-cost subsidiary, Scoot, operates 10 787s and 6 787-9s with orders for another 4 9s. The aircraft, which sells for $326 million at list prices, completes a lineup of three models starting with a 787-8, which debuted in 2011. All three models boast carbon composite fabrication materials, fuel efficiency, and new state-of-the-air filtration systems with higher levels of humidity in the air for long-distance flights. The 787's range is 6,430 nautical miles, which is 11,910 kilometers. At 223 feet long, 68 meters, the aircraft is 18 feet, 5.5 meters, longer than the 787-9 and seats around 330 passengers, 40 more than the 787-9 and 88 more than the 787-8. The mid-size 787-9 is the most popular variant and competes mainly with Airbus's new generation carbon composite A350. The 787-10 has 171 orders, which is about 13% of the total foot um, orders for the 787 program. The 787 and A330neo are locked in a fierce battle for sales and profits in the market for jets with around 300 seats. Boeing looks poised to win a hotly contested order for American Airlines, beating competition for the A330neo, people familiar with the mat matter are saying. Also in line for the 787-10 are airlines such as Etihad, Emirates, British Airways, United Airlines and ANA. That's all for today's video. I think it's very exciting that the 787-10 is now being delivered to airlines. At the moment, I'm really looking forward to seeing a 787 in an Emirates livery. Let us know down below which airline you wish would order the 787-10 and which airline you are most excited to see take delivery of this great aircraft. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and check out our other videos. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.